Hello, my name is Kestutis and today we are going to learn about website optimization with Lightspeed. Before we dive into how you can make your website load as quick as possible, let's begin by understanding what Lightspeed is. In short, Lightspeed is a web server software that was designed with websites acceleration in mind. To make your website blazing fast, Lightspeed uses a built-in server level cache known as Lightspeed Cache. Lightspeed Cache works by optimizing the dynamic content of your web page. This caching software comes with advanced features and extensive functionality. You can get Lightspeed Cache as a plugin on a few platforms. WordPress is just one example. Lightspeed Cache for WordPress works by storing a copy of your website's content for future requests. If the requested content is already available in the cached memory, your server doesn't need to process as many requests, and in turn, it displays your web pages faster. An important distinction to make is that the Lightspeed server technology is separate from the Lightspeed caching plugin itself. This means that you would still be able to use the Lightspeed plugin optimization features on other web servers, such as Apache or Nginx. These features include image optimization, CDN integration, and CSS slash JS modification. If you're using the Lightspeed plugin on a Lightspeed web server, you unlock even more functions that make use of server caching. Let's check out some real-world examples of Lightspeed in action. Here you can see Google PageSpeed Insights score before and after setting up the Lightspeed Cache plugin on our test WordPress website. As you can see, after configuring the Lightspeed Cache plugin on WordPress, our website has managed to hit the perfect score both for the mobile and the desktop version. Pairing the LS Cache plugin with a Lightspeed-based web server will net you some amazing performance results though other combinations are possible too. We conducted some high and small scale stress tests to see how LS Cache performs with other web server technologies. Here you can see LS Cache paired with Apache, Nginx, Open Lightspeed, Lightspeed on a VPS, and Hostinger Cloud LSWS. The results indicate that if you're looking for great performance, using a Lightspeed server paired with the Lightspeed Cache plugin is the way to go. Hostinger uses Lightspeed as their web server technology. And as a bonus, WordPress websites that are set up here come with the Lightspeed caching plugin pre-installed. However, if that's not the case for you, installing your Lightspeed cache plugin is no different from any other plugin installation. When you have the plugin active and ready, we can go over the proper configuration and the best settings to use. In this section of the video, we will go over all the different settings of the plugin and dive further into understanding what each of them do. While applying the best settings will give you optimized performance, there's no need to tweak the default settings if you don't feel comfortable doing it. That is because the LS Cache plugin applies default settings suitable for most WordPress websites. To truly see this plugin in action, let's first test our website speed using GT metrics. To get a baseline result, I disabled my Lightspeed caching plugin before the test was performed. Let's see how much we can boost our score after fully configuring the caching plugin. We began by opening the general section of the plugin. Let's start with the domain key field, which is used when setting up the Quick Cloud CDN services. To set it up, you would need to have Cloudflare CDN already be active for your domain. Cloudflare caches the static content of your website while Quick Cloud will handle the dynamic page caching. To get your domain key, all you need to do is submit the request with Cloudflare already active on your website. Once the request is processed, you can refresh your WordPress admin page to have the domain key be filled in automatically. Clicking the link to Quick Cloud will allow you to complete the registration process for the Quick Cloud services. Afterwards, let's navigate to the CDN section of the plugin and enable the Quick Cloud CDN from there. Now you would need to configure the Quick Cloud CDN with your Cloudflare details. To do so, let's access our Cloudflare dashboard and get the global API key. Here it's simply just a case of transferring the details to their appropriate fields. Let's get back to the general section. The next option is guest mode. This option provides an automatic cacheable landing page for a guest's first time request. When you enable guest mode, the server won't have to gain visitors information and instead will serve the default cached page. As a result, the page loading time will be shorter. Once the cached pages are served, the server will make an Ajax call to fetch the proper version of web pages that the visitors requested. 
To optimize guest mode, use the guest mode optimization option. When you enable the setting, the server will not only serve the default cache page, but will also perform image and page optimization, even if these features are disabled. However, guest mode optimization might take up some of your WordPress website's resources, so it's best to consult your hosting provider before activating this setting. Underneath, there is a server IP field for your site's IP address. Including your IP address will allow the crawler to retrieve resources directly from your server, improving your site's performance. Next, let's move on to the Cache tab. Settings that can be found here mostly apply to web servers running Lightspeed as well as Quick Cloud. Let's begin with the option to cache logged in users. Since enabling this takes up server resources, it is only recommended to do so if you run a membership website. Next up is Cache Commenter. The output of this function depends on your comment moderation setting. If both cache commenters and cache moderation settings are enabled, users will not see their comments immediately. Conversely, if the cache commenters function is disabled, users will see their pending comments. So take this into consideration when choosing the appropriate option for you. Cache REST API enables you to cache requests from the WordPress REST API calls. These calls are generally made by third-party web applications integrated with WordPress, including themes, plugins, and the block editor. Leave it on for best performance. I recommend enabling the rest of the cache options with the one exception being Cache Mobile. This option allows you to serve different cache content on mobile and desktop, so unless you have an AMP version of your website, it's best to keep it off. Now let's briefly overview the other available sections. TTL. This function controls how long specific content types are stored in the cache. The default settings should work fine, but you can reduce or increase the numbers as needed. Purge provides you with all settings to remove certain content types from cache. Excludes helps specify which content types you want to exclude from cache. There are various fields to fill out, including site URIs and query strings. Fill out the strings accordingly and the system will prevent them from being cached. ESI separates specific parts of a website page into fragments. You can choose to sort these parts in a public or private cache. Once enabled, the system will resemble the pages before serving them to the browser. Object The object caching functionality is disabled by default. However, enabling this will prompt the server to retrieve and display frequent database queries more quickly. Since enabling this function involves technical parameters, consult your hosting provider first. Important detail to note here is that on Hostinger shared and cloud plans, object cache is unavailable. Browser Enabling browser caching allows the system to automatically store dynamic content of your WordPress site in the user's browser's cache. The server will process fewer browser requests and serve the pages more efficiently. Advanced The settings on this tab are designed for advanced users. Here you can enable the HTTP HTTPS functionality to avoid conflicts with login cookies. Furthermore, an instant click function can load the web page in the background as soon as your visitors hover over it. Let's continue with the image optimization section of the plugin. Whenever someone opens up your WordPress website, their browser needs to download all of your site's images before displaying them. As such, unoptimized images will take a lot longer to be loaded, resized, and rendered. The good news is that Lightspeed Cache plugin comes with amazing image optimization functionality. Do you know that it is not recommended to use another image optimization plugin with Lightspeed, as that might cause system and processing errors. Once you open the image optimization page, you will see the image optimization summary tab. If you have previously configured your plugin with a Quick Cloud CDN, here you will be able to send optimization requests to Lightspeed Cloud Server. There are some other handy features on this page, so be sure to check them out. Moving over to the Image Optimization Settings tab, here you will find more optimization options to tweak. The default settings work really well for most cases, although if for example your website is a photography portfolio one, you would need to do further tweaking on this page, such as enabling optimized losslessly to preserve more detail in your images. After you finish customizing your image optimization settings, let's move on to page optimization. Minifying your scripts is recommended as it simply strips away unnecessary elements such as extra white spaces and new line characters from the code files. When it comes to combining your script files, you would need to take into consideration that it can use extra system resources and sometimes cause errors. 
Let's check out the media settings tab. Here you can enable lazy loading. This allows the system to load various images only when they are in view. While this can increase your website's performance, it can also impact user experience. In the next tab over, which is Media Excludes, you can exclude certain images from being lazy loaded. Excluding above default images such as logos and background images can improve user experience as you will want those elements to load before the rest of the page. The last tab is Tuning. Here we are able to exclude specific scripts from minification or from being combined. This is only necessary if you run into any issues after minifying or combining your scripts. And here are the website speed test results after applying all optimizations. Comparing the before and after results, you can see how much of a performance increase we got. Once you go over the initial configuration of your Lightspeed cache settings, very little to no further cache management will be required. However, the Lightspeed Cache plugin offers other useful functions as well. Let's check them out. First is the database section. Here you can execute various tasks to optimize your WordPress website's database. In the database optimization settings tab, you can automate the removal of older post revisions. For example, if you want to save two older revisions for each post, change the revision max number value to two. Meanwhile, to keep all post revisions for a specific period, change the revisions max age. Next up is the crawler. The LS Cache crawler works by browsing your website's backend, searching for expired pages and refreshing them in the process. It prevents visitors from seeing any uncached page. This function is disabled by default and it needs to be enabled from the server side. Activating the crawler without sufficient server resources can negatively impact your website's performance. On Hostinger, the crawler functionality is available on cloud hosting plans. Lastly, there's the toolbox section. The first tab you see here is Purge. You can selectively clear only specific files from your cache. The second tab deals with importing and exporting your Lightspeed plugin settings. You can use this to apply one website's Lightspeed plugin configuration to another one. The third tab lets you directly make edits to your website's HD access file. The fourth tab is Heartbeat. Here you can make configurations related to WordPress Heartbeat API. The next tab over is Report. If you ever run into any issues with the Lightspeed plugin, here's where you can report them to the plugin's developers. Moving on, there's the Debug Settings tab. It offers some really handy features to troubleshoot any issues you might have related to Lightspeed Cache. The last two sections let you view the debug log of your plugin and beta test a newer version. And that covers how you can use Lightspeed Cache to significantly optimize your website's performance. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, you can let me know by clicking the like button. Stay subscribed if you like to see more web hosting related content. Until then, I wish you best of luck in your online journey.